Hello everyone. So today's video will be about C programming. I think uh, this is the most common programming uh, you all know and you will face if you are a computer science student or uh, or a computer student or a computer engineering student. Anything because every uh, because whenever uh, because whenever you will start programming you have to start with C. So uh, uh, it is said that you have to start programming with C because C is uh, C is the mother of all language. Using C programming, all all the compilers are created, uh, and all the languages are derived from that. So uh, C is considered as the mother of all programming language. Uh, so there are many other programming language like uh, like previously I have made a video with the Python. So Python uh, and C uh, basically both uh, basically uh, the same grammar is uh, different, but the logic but the programming logic is same for all the programming languages. So basically, C is not an object-oriented programming language. C uh, because C doesn't have because C doesn't have the uh, concepts of objects and classes and instances like that. So is a, uh, so C is a procedural uh, procedural oriented programming language. So in that uh, so it is, it is the case that we can't use any type of uh, classes and functions uh, in C programming language. Another thing is that uh, the C programming uh, the uh, the variables which will you declare uh, declared will be of static type. It will be statically typed, not dynamically. Just like Python, the variables are dynamically typed. So in C programming, the uh, the variables are statically typed. So what's the what, so what is the static programming? Uh, statically typed. So suppose you if you declared a variable in t equals to five, and and in the next step you you something declared like uh, in t equals to ten. This will not work because First, you have assigned the a with five, and after that, you can't uh, do, can't reassign the variable with some different value. So this is the case of statically type, and one of the uh, most significant difference uh, in C programming, like C programming, is not platform independent. It is platform dependent. Why? Because C programming is platform dependent. Because yeah, if you are using Windows platform, and if you declare integer, so it will, uh, so it will consider two bytes. It will. Uh, it will allocate two bytes in your memory, in the computer memory or the RAM. So in t equals to two. Uh, so in the RAM, a variable is a block of variable is created known as a, and in and the size of the variable a is two bytes. So in so subsequently, if you do this in Linux, suppose in a GCC compiler, if you if you take int a equals to four, so the value of the a will be four bytes. So it is difference. Uh, so in Windows the integer is of two bytes and in the Linux the integer of uh, in integer is of four bytes. So that is uh, so that is why it is platform uh, not platform independent. It is platform dependent. And there are some many other reasons also because if you because I will not tell you if you do if you do C programming you will you will know uh, what is what is the main difference. Uh, rest of the thing is same with the uh, miss the logic etc. Because you will not find any problem if you're a Linux user or a Windows user or a Mac user. So it's depend. So how can you do C? So how can you do C programming? Basically, there is a uh, there are lots of compiler available, or you, you can use text editor. But I will prefer to use the Dev C++, which I am using. So Dev C++ uh, is available in the internet. Just you can write over here Dev C++ download. So it will generally download you uh, download the Dev C++ for you. Uh, I think I have lost my internet connection. Sorry about that. I got my internet connection back. back. Sorry for that because I am having some internet issue in my uh, in my locality. So sorry about that. So if you uh, write Dev C++ download, so you can download anywhere from. If you want to download it from SourceForge, it's okay. And you, you can download it for file for also. Mm, both are great. So after the, so I'm going to the file heap only. I'm clicking source heap on also. Yeah, because yeah, you can download the latest version from here. After downloading, you have to just install it. Simple and easy to install. There is nothing much uh, complication about that. So when uh, so when you will install, you will find uh, so you will find the icon on the desktop. So click to open and do one thing. After opening, go to the file and go to the new. And the source file. So, so by this you can use. And after that, I, I will tell you how can you execute the program, how can you compile the program in the coming videos. And one more thing for the C program, uh, C programming is is that C programming uh, as uh, by using C programming you can create many uh, many things. You can create the backend stuff also. 
uh, which is not supported by any other uh, something which is not supported by any other programming languages so using an using c point using c programming you can use the concepts another main thing you can use the concepts of the pointer by uh, means you can you, you can access the memory uh, of the ram directly so this is so this is how c programming is very much powerful and if you compare the speed c programming is much uh, c programming is much speed uh, much speed than python because python is slower than c now now you have uh, so much a uh, high processor high end processor high end uh, computer that's why you don't know the difference we can easily get the python program compiled but if you uh, if you take a computer which is backdated like if you take the computer 2000 or 1990 uh, 2000 or uh, from previous so you can see it it will take a lot of time to compile the python program and if you compile the c program in that type of computer it will compile it, it will compile in within seconds so c programming is much faster than any other programming language so so this in in some cases c is better than any other languages so and this is the his this is the history of the c so i and if you like if you like the introduction of the c programming uh, so please give a like and subscribe to the youtube channel also thank you for watching the video